Good evening and welcome to another exciting episode of Kicking It with Keisha and KC. I'm KC. And I'm Keisha. And as you can see, we are sitting amongst Detroit royalty. That's Ladies right. and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Detroit legends. You might remember them sitting in the front seat of maybe a Chevrolet Camaro with the top down, <laughs> blasting some of their music. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Big Hurt. And Jay Nettie. What up, what up, bro? Much love. Much love. Yeah. That's a hell of an intro. <laughs> <laughs> like it's all respect. It's all respect. It's all respect. It's all respect. Hey. Hey, y'all. All right. So, how are you, fellas? I'm good. All right. Can't complain. That's good. All right. So, we wanted to get right into it. Had a couple questions no, for y'all. Our, yeah, refresh our uh, viewers with some of their music. Look. <laughs> uh, one of the songs is uh, No, No. I know I'm not saying it. Is anybody exactly. fucking with us? <laughs> no. Look, you got to say they it like that. They no, teasing no. Me about something. Right. <laughs> right. They been teasing me about something. Where are you from? You from yeah. Detroit? I'm like, yeah, I'm from Detroit. So, I don't say it the Detroit way, so. No, no. <laughs> I was trying to help you out. I was posting some of that music on my page. So, you can go and listen to it. <laughs> I have heard it. Oh, okay. Okay. So, that's what I was trying to do. Get, um. Get them, um, everybody just refresh their memory. Just to, um, you know, a hundred niggas on the block stopping your ass. You know what I'm saying? Just getting everybody back into that mode. Like, growing up, that's all we used to listen to was just rock bottom. It would be like Big Hurt. You just used to be excited to hear him coming in. Jay Nutty, you too. You know what I'm saying? Like, told y'all niggas wait until Jay Nutty get out. You know? So it was just that whole staple of music. And then it was like... Rock bottom versus the street lords. You know what I'm saying? So you really know your history. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I used to listen. Yeah, and I'm from. She's been ready for this. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> and I grew up on Dexter, so it's like you know what I'm saying, right? Dexter girl, hundred years. You know, right? You <laughs> Right, right. So you know, it's like this is like I'm. I'm nervous and I'm excited because it's like I'm just geeked to just be sitting here kicking Much it with y'all, you know. Glad, so, glad yeah, glad like y'all, y'all some real legends, you know what I'm saying? Big Hurt got the rap snacks from 20 years ago. He was on there. Wasn't yeah. nobody else Had doing that, before you know? Master P. Yeah. Before Master P, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and you still, the rap snacks still out there? No, actually, they got, the company got bellied up and I think, um, the Romeo them bought it or something at first. Master P them bought it and then I think somebody else them bought it. I'm like, okay, oh, okay. The people who owned it back then when we first did it, they ain't even own it no more. So okay. I might have to try to do some digging to see if I can get another replica of it or something. Okay. Ask for bags now. Okay. Now, how how exactly did Rock Bottom get started and how did you guys become a part of that? Well, you know, we had our own thing going over in our hood. We from Woodrow, Woodrow mm-hmm. Wilson. Woodrow Wilson. And, um, you know, it was me, Jay Nutty, Charlie Picasso, my man Thrust, who recently passed away. Oh, Thrust sorry to Thrust. hear that. Rest in peace my brother. Yeah, uh, we had our own little group. You know what I'm saying? The Rats. That's back when everybody had an acronym for their name. You know, you know that's that ain't nothing to do with snitching. But it was Rebels Against the System. Mm-hmm. And uh, we was doing that. And I knew Rock from school. Okay. And Rock a little older than a lot of other people, you know. We went to the same junior high, high school, and all that. So I already knew him and his sister, and anyway. Okay. So we had already been rapping and rocking and trying to put something together, and he reached out to me. Like, you know, I'm doing a project compilation. I want y'all to get over. So, you know, we got over. You know, after that, the rest of the month was what it is. So it was history after that. Yeah. Okay. So then, was it a real beef between, like, the street lords? And rock bottom was that just rap or was y'all really beefing in these streets like uh, that? Oh, some rap. It was some I mean, rap. <laughs> it started from two other parties from our caps, and you know you gonna rap with your team. That's all. That's about you know mm. what I'm saying. But it wasn't nothing, just some BS type shit. Okay. It wasn't nothing like that to me. You know what I mean? So it was music. Mm-hmm. So I'm straight with a lot of them right now to this day. You know what I'm saying? When I see them, it's love, respect, and all this. Well, me and Wine actually, when I was on vacation federal vacation me and Wine actually <laughs> did a lot of time together. Oh, okay. And me and him really didn't care for each other. Mm. But it was never no, you know, on sight. He's killing each other. Right, That's right. What we didn't we just was too arrogant both arrogant and I'm from this side. I'm from that from my crew over here. You from over there. But actually when I end up getting in there we end up talking and squashing and mm. talking about how powerful we would have been if we just would have linked up. 
Mm. And he actually, to be honest with you, shout out to Street Lord Wine, he actually helped me with like a lot of my law work. He, okay. He kind of, he, he's smart when it comes to the law work, so he kind of helped me out with that. Told y'all niggas wait until Jay Nutty get out. <laughs> okay, and it, it was actually fun to listen to. Like they come out with a song, then they come out with a song. So that was just that culture back then. You right. wanted to hear Some everybody do something. Detroit history. Yeah, Detroit, Detroit history. history. So I was gonna ask you <clears throat> guys still in touch, but you just answered that. But how does it feel to be legends, to be known, just to you know what I'm saying, be able to put out that good music? back then that still, you know, crosses the test of time now. It's better than the music that we have out here now. Well, I'm going to say this. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I owe a lot of it to uh, Hurt and Thrust. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace again. My, he just recently passed away, so it's still kind of touchy. But I was not taking it serious at all. Mm -hmm. I was just freestyling. I did not want to go to the meetings. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I didn't you like. You was the bad yeah, seed of the group. I didn't like. I didn't like. I just wanted to. If I was gonna rap, I wanted to come right in there and just rap. I didn't want to make the beat. I didn't. I just wanted to come in there and hear the beat. I didn't want to go to none of the meetings. I didn't want to meet for none of that. And they was like, kind of like on me. As I was running around, I was like a little wild. I it was like, man, you really got talent. You need to be taken serious. You really got talent. Hurt was stressing it. And thrust. They was telling me like, boy, you got it. You got to sit down and come to the studio and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and I would hear songs that they made they got a lot of songs that people never even heard that mm -hmm. if we could revamp them and put them out right now it would probably teach these new look yeah. you youngsters can. something yeah. Yeah. so I owe a lot to them so the, when you call me a legend I kind of like people say it and people say it in the crowd and I just smile I don't, it's real. I don't take it like it's real because I really owe it to him and no, you made your own way though. Yeah, I mean, no, you know, but y'all kind of like was the, we gave the, you the, boost the you big brothers up. You know? Right, right. You still got to do your part because you wasn't dope. Nigga wasn't gonna fuck with you. You're right about that. See. You, you, knew, you knew you had it. You just had to know you had it. Now, is there any way we can stream some of your old music? Because a lot of it is some songs that are on, like, YouTube and stuff like that, but you really can't find it. Is it a certain somewhere you got to go to? Um, I had all my stuff streaming at one time. Okay. Kid and a couple of little different counties, but for some reason, they took it down. So I got to do some investigating on that. But okay. um, I got a new, a new project I'm working on, too. And Nutty got a project that's out, I believe, too, right, right. now. Yeah, called Irrelevant. That we did. Irrelevant. We, I'm on there. Ain't other people on there. That's fire. So check his out, too. So he got stuff. Yeah, that's so on, how can we listen to that? That's on, that's on Apple Music. That's okay. on Spotify. It's on uh, YouTube. Uh, music. It's, okay. It's basically everywhere. It's been, it did, actually it did pretty good. I dropped it like right in the middle of COVID, so it wasn't, I, could, I wasn't able to do that much promotion or that much, you know, performing with it, but I actually threw a, uh, in the middle, in the heart of the COVID, I ended up throwing the album release party and it turned out real, real nice. Oh, okay, good, they, they good. Kept, I, And I actually threw it outside in our neighborhood off Woodrow Wilson and the fire marshal tried to shut me down. Outside? <laughs> outside? Damn yeah, fire yeah. marshal. Well, they didn't know, well, they didn't know my father is a retired fire marshal. Mm. Plus, we got a guy that's from our neighborhood directly. He is a fire marshal as of now. Okay. So he yeah, came yeah. and kind of like vetoed it and told dog, yeah, I got this, these family. And they let us rock out. Okay. Yeah. You just seem so laid back and cool. It's like, where do you pull that energy from when you get no, on not, stage? Because just... I don't do all that barking. I bite. Okay. I let all those other niggas do all barking and barking. I'm just going up, sitting away to the right time, you know. Okay. But as far as my music, again, back to that, a lot of my stuff is still on YouTube. Okay. A lot of rock bottom music is not because rock okay. took it off for business purposes. Okay. Like he was taking it and selling it illegally, mm. you know doing stuff with it so he took all the right bottom music down all big hurt stuff solo stuff and all that stuff is up on YouTube as well as like I said had it on Distro Kid and all that streaming so gotta check into that find out what the issue is but you can get most of it on YouTube now what about I had a couple prisoners ask me they said they can't get your music on JPEG so have you tried to well that's what I was saying when I went to the Distro Kid they supposed to cover all that you know, okay the correctional facilities and all of that because um, they want it. Yeah, oh, yeah, I talked a lot. I know. I, I, we got people in there. My mm -hmm. nephew and them. So mm -hmm. we talk a lot. I know they need that music, so that's why I'm saying we got to get on top of it right now. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know what the hell's going on. But. Now, who's who's your favorite rappers that are out here now, like old school versus like the new school that's out here? 
me, the new, I do like Lil Baby. Okay. And it's a dude named uh, ESTG out of Kentucky. He nice. And I'm, uh, I like, I like Fo Two Doug too. He, he, he showing me that he, he still being himself. I like okay. that he ain't trying to change. He, either you gonna like me or not. Mm. So I like them so far. But as far as uh, all the originals, you know, it's JD Kisses and. Uh, Fabulous, and, mm, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, I, I can. I, we go all day. Cassidy I, and yeah, stuff I, like that. Cassidy, when they come to them, please. I don't think I got a favorite. Okay. Nas would be the the one. But, yeah. Oh man. But, yeah. Okay. Okay. I got a question. Take me back. Um, how did it feel when you first heard your music, like in the club, on the radio, and stuff like that? Do you remember that? Feel good to me, but we don't have shit. I mean, you know, that's the first thing you want to do is get something on the radio that everybody can hear. Right. That's almost like your first little milestone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You get the car, hey, you playing on the radio, listen, they playing. So you get music on the radio, you did something, because they don't just throw it on there. You right. got to do something to make them play. You have to jump in and get it on there? Uh, not really. We just had to go through the process. I understood. You know what I mean? It takes time. It ain't, it ain't like TV or something. You just run up in the radio station like LL Box. <laughs> and just grab it. Uh, right. They, you know, you got to get it to them. They got to listen to it. Got to go to program directors. Yeah. Now, you might get your stuff in the mix. If you know, the DJs, y'all cool. They might put you in the mix, but I'm talking about spin. Full of spin. Right. And when you first get those full of spin, like, they playing my whole song. They playing my song. So, that takes a little time. But, you know, it's a good feeling. That's one of the accomplishments. You want to be heard on the radio. Now, you go to the next phase. So, yeah. Feel great. Okay. Well, for me, it was kind of like what they were saying finally paid off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. after a while, you feel like you're doing it for nothing. You feel like, okay, it's just a hobby. Mm-hmm. But then when people calling and my mama, Jehovah Witness, she don't even want to hear no cuss words. But when she heard me <laughs> oh, on the radio, the... it was in the now I'm her favorite. You know what I'm saying? Aww. Yeah. Right. I can just rap and cuss in her house whenever I feel like it. <laughs> but at first, I couldn't say a cuss word. But mm-hmm. like I said, it was that. That is epic to hear your song on the radio mm-hmm. in heavy rotation. Mm-hmm. In heavy rotation. Okay. And then Big Hurt. Um, everybody can't see, but he brought his lovely wife. She's in the audience. And how long have you been married? We've been together thirty some years. So how was that coming up, dealing with you being a young rapper, a legend, you got a wife, and then you got the groupies, and you got to, you know, keep her like, hey, babe, this just work. Like, how how she, hard she was that? Real. We don't go through all that. We really kick it and talk about it on the real level. You know what I mean? We don't, we don't play all that. We ain't in the negative energy and all that shit. She know what's up. We've been together 30-some years, so mm-hmm. that's my partner. We ain't going nowhere. You know that's what I mean? That's that longevity. and all that, so... And grandkids now, so we ain't going nowhere. She know what's up. She knows she's the one. Okay, that's what's up. I love that. So um, we just wanted to kick it with y'all for a minute. We got nigga news coming up. They have some questions for y'all and want to blow y'all house down while y'all here. So um, nigga news. Yes, nigga, nigga news. news. So nigga news. All the top. yeah. So coming up is nigga news, and y'all get ready. We really appreciate y'all coming out and doing this. Like. I just I feel honored to have y'all on what my show. Say? Like it. just showing this love is just like, oh my God, I'm yeah, Yay. We, appreciate <laughs> we appreciate y'all having us. Right, right. So yeah, this is so um we're gonna get ready for our next segment. So Big Hurt and Jay Nutty and um coming up we wanna say thanks to our sponsors, Ace of Spades Strip Club on Eight Mile and also Vano's Boutique, thirty two forty six West Davidson. So go check him out and get you some fly gear. I know Vano. Yeah. yeah. Right in the hood. All yeah. right. That's what right, right there. Oh uh, yeah. Today we got something special for y'all today. We got some some legendary rappers, some some classic hip hop, some some today hip hop. Like they can put one of their old albums out and it's still to me is one of the best and it's still better than the shit that's out now. I got Rock Bottom Big Hurricane here and I got Jay Nutty in the house. Say what up to Jay what Nutty, up? y'all. What up, Devil? What up, everybody? What, what up, Shoot, man, I don't even know where to begin. Like, you know, like, Jay Nutty always been my favorite. J- just my favorite name, because my name Jay and oh, shit. Yeah, I yeah. just say that shit over and over in the car, you know what I'm saying? Bumping that. Uh, 
<laughs> some of the, 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 the shit y'all doing now, y'all fucking with the, the, the weed, y'all fucking with the music, y'all fucking with, 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 I know y'all fucking with a little bit of everything now. Nah. We fucking with movies and music. The the movies. Movies. I did have a dispensary. I had a dispensary going on. I had a Sticky Icky Detroit. Oh, going yeah? On. Yeah, on the east side. No. Technical difficulties happen. Politics. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at trying to open up again. Uh, like around the end of May. Did you try to get on with the equity plan and the legacy plan and stuff like that? I yet? Should, yeah, I did that. I tried yeah. to do that. And then what happened was, uh, I just gonna disclose a little bit of it so people understand. Somebody was robbed in front of my building. Okay. And went to the police and told the police, well, he got cameras. We well, go ask him for his cameras. And they wanted my cameras and I didn't want to implement everybody that came in my building showing the police. Right, cameras. showing them your cameras. So I just, no, I'm not going to do that. <coughs> right. I tried to help the police before in a situation like that and I end up with my truck in the impound. And, came back on. Yeah, so no, I'm not doing that. So wow. I had to kind of like shut it down, basically. Yeah. They don't, they don't really, it seems like they don't want us black people to have them no. anyway, man. And this, this is like, this our crowd, <laughs> you know. Like they try to take everything from us. Then they they always bite our style. This the Detroit style. Yes. They just bite it so hard. It's ridiculous. Well, a lot. Honestly, I just want to say, I think a lot of people, and and it's, and it's our culture, and it's, and it's it's fucked up. It's our it's, it's in our bloodline. But we gotta stop that foot on the neck mentality and stop going against each other and figure out figure out how to get together and make stick together and form something. When it's new, when it's when when they made it legal, I really was rubbing elbows because I, you know, I do growing myself, and plus I have dispensaries, so I was rubbing elbows with the, the Arabs and the Chaldeans, and and I watched certain people that I know don't like each other get together and put their money together and have got some of the biggest dispensaries. Yeah. They got the biggest dispensaries and the big, and they got their own strand, and they can't even. I'm, I'm not not bragging, but they can't fuck with me and my people and some of the strands of other people I know. Right. That shit is not fucking with us, bro. Right. But they put their head together and they got the big bright lights out there <coughs> and the biggest buildings and the biggest <coughs> growth facilities. And they, you know, they basically trying to oust us out of something that we supposed to took over. We supposed to put our heads together, right. put our money together, or whatever we the, got. They got rid of the big eyes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And make mm-hmm. it happen. Yeah, they can start letting motherfuckers out of jail, too. That's locked up for weed. Bowls and all that, y'all don't legalize this shit. That's what's Go back to the cases and start releasing motherfuckers. That was exposed to really been did. Yeah. Or been did. That, yeah, they be what. dancing around that all the time. Oh, that's key. That's something they, they gonna kill They don't want to let us go. That's, that's, man, that'll free a lot of, that'll free a they lot of men. To. They just take their time. They take a lot said. of new families. But they legalize that shit, bro. You can't keep nigga car every Sunday. You done made legal. They got, they got to let come on out and commute that. Yeah. What, what's your favorite strands uh, right now? What, what, what you got? What, what, what strands you I got? Love, I love Sativa. You love Sativa strands? I love Sativa. Right now, I got uh, night. Well, all I have right now is Nightmare Cookie and uh, Blueberry Cookie. Uh, last, when I bust my doors open, I w- was one of the first people that had some of that original peanut butter breath. Yeah. Nice. You know, shout out to Band Game, bro, who passed away, but I was able to get some of the real... <laughs> Real clones, and I had a real, I had a real strand that yeah popped us off. Yeah, I, I don't like when it comes to strands. I don't like fucking with niggas on on regular strands. Like I call them the street strands. I mean, like everybody got <coughs> them strands. Like you know, motherfuckers. Everybody got them purple pit, them, them blue pit bulls. Everybody got these, these street same weed. So I be trying to get strands. Like I got. A homie in Colorado, I fly to Colorado and he gets strands from like the Cub winners. Then I got another homie, uh, his dad was an engineer for Death Row, so he be like, he grew up with Snoop and all them, so he be in all they rooms. So I be getting a lot of good strands too. So I understand what you're saying, but it's just a lot of bullshit out here. You, you, you think we still gonna be able to make it in the game with where the, I, I ain't gonna say the area, I'm just gonna say the people that came out with like, they got the six hundred dollar pound out now. They got the twelve hundred dollar pound out now. Well, yeah, but that I, shit ain't Zaza's, man. Yeah. Niggas want them Zaza's. That's two crowds for that. That's the low ball hustle boy and the Zaza's. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The caviar that shit. So that's why they gonna get they people and niggas who know what it is on other tip. 
Want that real shit? They gonna buy that. What, 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 what a lot of people that ain't really understand. hurting everybody like that. What a lot of people don't understand is on the legal side and the you know the, the street side. I watch people where where us we still let them say, hey, Jay, you don't even need to go. I just give you all of this for this, and you can make this. And, right. and try and stop me from doing being independent and becoming near work. Yeah, I, I noticed they doing the chicks like that, like yeah. the, the chicks that's trimming for them. They giving them bowls. They they online. They like hundred dollar ounces. Like, yeah. oh, chicks got bowls. <laughs> they blood because they not street. They can't they, they can't go to the streets like we can. They can't go to the corners like we can. So they need us to do that. But if we got our own thing, then they got to <coughs> they gotta fall back. They got to fall back. <coughs> we are the streets. We, we from around here. What, what's your favorite nutrients line to use? I I do the heavy 16, man. Heavy 16. I, I, I the heavy 16. I never strayed away from it. It always did me right. And I got a strand called Nightmare Cookie. It's the best. I ain't going to say the best strand. Strong. Strength, as far as strong, but sativa is good. And, and, and uh, this plant. That plant will get sick and fix itself. What about you? What's your favorite strain? I like a few of them. I fuck with a lot of ranch right now. That's what I fuck with. Ranch right now. Yeah, I got some white ones right here. I'm gonna let you have these so you can just try them out. But uh, man, my brother, man, my brother used to rap and shit. Man. He, he used to, you know, like, like I grew up off y'all music, basically. Like, you know, I go buy an outfit just to go to y'all picnic, man. I remember the picnics and shit. Oh my God. The picnic. Oh, right. the picnic. Oh, the really? All the picnics off the chain. But my, my brother used to always say, he said, you know, I, I knew Herc was going to be sweet. He's like, because Herc used to run out the spot just rapping sometimes, just kicking it. You know, his name was Chill, though. He told me to tell you what's up. Much love. He used to be in a little group called Chill Easy back in the day. You know, with uh, Chaos and Maestro and them was out. I know them. Yeah, uh, Tiny. Them. Yeah. But, uh, like, Chu, you still doing music or you just, you just... I mean, I'm doing music too, but I'm doing more so uh, for my sons and stuff, right? The music side, they got stuff out. Yeah, I've been checking them out. Stuff streaming and all that, videos, all that. So I've been more on the CEO side, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with these movies too, so I've been pushing that a little bit more, but we working on the EP. So I'm gonna do another EP. Like I say, I did a lot of features on, on other people's projects, so you'll be hearing some that come out. But as far as me, I just gonna take my time. I'm gonna do an EP. We put a like, couple joints together already, so I'm gonna finish that up. Just doing the movie thing. I wrote some, a movie and I wrote a sitcom that I'm still working on. Right. So I'm trying to do more on that right now. But the music, that's always gonna be the name of the back, movie. That's back our hand. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's just like you got a timeless movie. voice, too. Oh, much love, much you know love, what I'm saying? Love. Like your your much voice is, is just like distinctable against anybody's in the DVD. You know what I'm saying? Right. Close call, though. Close call. Yeah, but yeah, it, it ain't it just no good. good. This is like a, a suspense mystery with a little urban element in it. On something different, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. All right. Uh, if you, who, is, is any other? Uh, you got any other rappers or, or in the? In the movie or like anybody that you know, well, still being put together. Ain't we ain't getting no uh, auditions oh, so you got to and all like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm doing it, man. It's gonna be right. Right now, I'm just putting that, the final touches on the movie, and then I'm working on the shit. Now. That's still like in progress. So you know, right now I'm taking my time. I don't rush stuff. Once I feel out, that's it. I don't need to be doing stuff too much. I can do it right the first time. That's another thing about not knocking cats, but a lot of cats now I see they put out music real free. And a lot of time they don't have no hold on it. You know what I'm saying? They have a hit or two, but then they, three months later, they need to have something else. So we used to drop shit. It lasts a whole year, the whole lot, because there's just so much shit on there that was hot, everything. Ain't no speed pad, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the concept is a little different. I call it microwave music, because it's quick. It come out, and then it's always time something else. You know what I'm saying? Our shit like a home-cooked meal. Yeah, so it's gonna take a minute for you get it, but you get it. That's what used to it. It's worth it. You got oh shit, you know. And not everybody, like I said, I ain't knocking some of the young niggas doing anything too, even though they doing that process of it. They put it out quick and they shit, hitting with some shit. But to me, it kind of dumbed down some shit. A lot of rappers too, but they kind of hurry up and push it out. That's the concept, man. You know what I'm saying? So, do you like this rap now? 
I like some of it. I just think that <clears throat> lyricism, they try to downplay it a lot. And I'm always going to respect that because it's called rap music. So I want to hear a nigga rap. You know, something that's going to make me, okay, dog rapping. You can talk that shit. I hear niggas not. I just talk that shit. And that's, that's cool too, bro. We talk that shit. But, you know, it be in a poetic way. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's each just each his own. I don't knock nothing. If the vibe good, you still like a song. Songs, I like the vibe, though. Beat, maybe, or whatever or something. But I think lyricism is going to come back because everything repeats itself. And, uh, you know, that's where I come from. That root. Rock him. That era. Big Daddy Kane. I'm older than everybody. You know, I'm going to catch my ass. He grew up in that. Run Bill C. Cool J. That era. You know what I'm saying? All the way to now. So we're going to make you all that for big and pop. Yeah, we grew up around a lot of real music, bro. A lot of music. It's just, you know, it is what it is. You know what the dance, man? Mm-hmm. We come from the dance, man. What's the dance, man? This is the shit right here. Yeah. 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 Drugs too, though. Yeah. You yeah. listen to the song from the era we on. I hear what, what you're talking what, about. What, what, but one yeah. thing about our era, that, that era, we had all of it. Though. We had dance, we had gangsters, yeah. we had motherfucking mm-hmm. regular mm-hmm. hip hop. It was all the flavors. It ain't like, nah, yeah. these young niggas, like, even, like, what I be hating, because I like to look at my city like a tribe, because we could go anywhere in the motherfucking world, anywhere in the United States, oh, and no. people respect us because of our style, they, they got flavor, and we out of town, we'll stick together. But when we here in town, it's like we don't treat each other like we do out of town. Like, we a tribe. So it's, it's, it's like... These, it's like now the rappers want to like the Rouge rappers beefing with the Southfield rappers or the Detroit rappers beefing with the, you know, it's just and they really shooting each other, sitting in the cars and stuff, yeah. you know, just <clears> smoking <throat> the blunt. They get shot up because they beefing over rappers. And that, I always think the music industry just blackballs us for that. You think we blackball? I just think we need to be more self-contained. Quit worrying about trying to get signed and all that shit, man. Especially now with all the YouTube and social media, how you can get shit to people. We didn't have that. You gotta realize, I be telling young niggas all the time, man, we rock bottom and street lawyer and all. We had YouTube and all that shit. No Instagram, no Facebook, nothing. So we ain't got shit. no email and nothing, and nobody niggas was taking cases of music and taking and delivering it. Oh, the mom and pop stores and all that shit. Oh, and that's why we try and spark niggas. We had the technology. Niggas got nine. We had a bid in the war. You know all the music we put out, man. You know what I'm saying? So what I be trying to explain, niggas just take advantage of this technology. We are always worrying about signing with somebody. We been programmed that we got to sign with somebody. Oh, yeah, we got to go sign with this country. No, oh, nigga, if you got a fan base and the way you get a bunch of followers, just keep doing what you're doing. And then they, if they do want to say they're going to come, it's going to be a big one. If you that they high, you're going to with you. Yeah, don't, work. Don't, sell out, don't sell out cheap. And let them eat off your shit. You got to follow them. Keep doing what you're doing. You can put it up and let it stream now. We ain't had that. Yeah. Put no stream, nothing at all. You got to buy hard copies of music. Put no email or none of that. You can understand that we had a real brand. CDs, vinyl, <coughs> cassettes. That tape. Period. Right. No flash drive, none of that yeah. shit. And it's now seat. it's so simple, you can just put a line him up. Oh, who I want it? Okay, hit a button and it go <coughs> everybody. We have to fly that shit. And niggas, <laughs> travel, get on the for real, bro. This is the best time to be independent. So I don't worry about what you get back to what you said. They blackballing us. Fuck them. We don't really need them. We keep letting them think we need them by doing that. Right. These young niggas eating, man. I'm looking at a lot of these young niggas independent. You, you traveling? Doing the show a lot of state and all that. You know, a lot of them come up, uh, come up under us. Right they now. come up above off us. They come up under us. They come up under the same you. brand. You know what I'm saying? I, I know you and your son be in the studio. Like, how many sons even got you to do with them? That ain't even good. Hey, he been rapping since he was like 16, 30 now. 30. Me and my youngest son rap, man. Go check him out. Baby Earth 95. <clears throat> That's my youngest son. And the issue of Earth. That's my oldest son. Go check their music out too, man. Straight. Yeah. Man. Fire, videos, all that shit, man. Young Hurt, he just got back from Africa like a few months ago. He did a tour over there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he was in like a little um, festival. Mm-hmm. He was performing over there, and then he did like a two-week little like a adventure. <coughs> different islands and all that, man. That shit, nigga pays lit, man. He walking with lions and all kind of shit on yeah, his face. he plate. did that. Yeah, <coughs> I, you know what? I got a friend that just moved Just walking with him. I ain't chained up nothing. 
I got I got a boy just moved to Africa. Like this nigga just do uh, uh, graphics and shit, you know, and computer stuff. But he moved to Africa because he he live in a part. He say it's like one of the highest. We got the most technology in the world. Yeah, because they try to like, fool us with that bullshit. Yeah. Like, you think Africa's some little wasteland and all the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
say like what? And he like, what's your name? She like, that ain't my father. He like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. He on He know us. Well, he going. You know, he get on the phone. He call Rock. He call Rock. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this, that, this, that. My sister like, listen, you ain't Jay Nutty. He like, what the fuck you mean? Blah, blah, blah. She like, Nutty, my brother. She said he was, that dog was like, Come here, let me holler at you. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> Put it to the side. Sad bar. Yeah, sad bar. <laughs> like, I'm running my game. I ain't know you. You wasn't even supposed yeah, to come. Yeah, it was, bro. Now, you had you had one of them names, though. It's just, just that one just that one little wait to say nothing, get out. That shit yeah. was And then I was gone for a minute, so nobody was seeing me. So, fuck it, nigga. Right. Shout out to everybody that used it and, and got you, on. And you hear right. it. Yeah. Yeah. That distinctive voice hurt saying it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That voice you was talking about. You hear his voice saying it, so that's stuck in your head. And he said it on the main song. Yeah. He said it on the right song, because that song was a heavy rope. Man, that song was dope. I've been trying to get Duke down here. He my cousin. I've been trying to drag him down here, but... You know, he been for crash today. Shout out to Cuz. Shout out to Rock Bottom Duke. Yeah. Oh, man, y'all had some, y'all, man, y'all had some just, man, I just, what was it? It was Duke and then it was, it was how many is it of y'all? Bunch. I <laughs> brought Duke to Rock Bottom. Huh? I brought Duke to Rock Bottom. Yeah, heard you did. Like, what's, his, what's his father name? Rod. 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 He used to work at, uh, what was that, with M&M's or what I'm calling At the yeah. bar, M&M's. And he worked with my girl Jackie, and she was telling me, my man Rod said, so his son can rap. Yes. Yeah. I said, yeah, and it was Duke. Yeah, Duke's sweet. He's been already saying. Yeah, Duke's sweet. That's a true story. I gotta give a shout out to my little bro, too, man. Mr. Kush313, man, on Instagram. I let him for them vibes, man. Mr. Kush313. Shout out to the whole hood, man. No Cut Incorporated coming soon. New movies, new music. Your man's get hurt. You want to say something right quick? Rest in peace to my nigga Thrust. Rest in peace, Thrust. And, and, and uh, NFL Tell. Rest in peace, Tell, go, too. Go ahead and listen to that Irrelevant. I, want, I advise you to listen to it all the way through. Shout out to Power Move J. Young Hurt. Baby Hurt. Lil Boat. And, and Broke PJ. It's us. We next.